What's that? <gasps> oh my god, run! Oh my god, run faster! <coughs> Hilda, it's horrific! <gasps> Hurry, it's getting closer! Hilda, I see the lights! What light? Oh, the field house. Yeah, so do I. Hilda, come on! Phew, that was a close one. I got that right. Hilda, can you quit tapping my shoulder? It's annoying. That's not me. we have into a beautiful campus park that fits the beauty of this school. We, on behalf of the 8th grade students, want to give a gift to our school like no other. We want to give a gift that we think no other 8th grade school and any other school has ever done before. When we leave, we want a safe play area for the future students of Waters. We want this school to be both safe and beautiful, not only when we leave, but always. We think that it will not only make our school better looking, but it will help the environment as well. Know that when it rains, fresh, clean rainwater has to go inside the sewer and mixes it with human disposal that goes in the sewer. Ew! Can you believe? Fresh, clean rainwater has to be mixed with who knows what. The worst part is that we're feeding the problem. The asphalt here makes the rain have nowhere to be drained from. The rainwater forces all of the important things in the ground to go in the sewage plant. That's not the worst part, of course. The rainwater goes inside the sewage plant. All of the water that goes in the plant needs to be treated before it goes to the river. When it rains, a lot of it is not able to happen. When the, when the sewage tanks become full, they are forced to release the untreated water in the Chicago River. There is only 1% of fresh clean water in the whole world. 1%. As you can see, there are many reasons that we should remove the asphalt from our school. During the next few minutes, we are going to explore the history of our school and its connection to the environment. We are also going to share a proposal to create a campus park here at Thomas J. Waters Elementary School. Waters Elementary School is located on the northwest side. The school was built in 1911. Our school has lived in our neighborhood for almost 100 years. The neighborhood has had many changes. Today in our neighborhood, we see Brown Line, Currency Exchange, McDonald's, 7-Eleven, and houses. Before the school was built, the Chicago River passed right through our school. Today, these blue lines represent where the river used to flow. Water School is known for preserving the natural environment. It has also inspired us to care about our community. As we just mentioned, the Chicago River once ran through Water School. What caused the city of Chicago to want to move the river? Between 1907 to 1910, the North Branch of the Chicago River was moved a quarter of a mile west in order to make room for a railroad terminal and to help with pollution issues. The river used to look very unique with green surroundings and was lined with cottonwood trees. Trees still surround the river, the banks of the river, but there are also houses, railroad tracks, and factories. The river is important to all things that surround it. The river has become the foundation of our school. It has been part of our, commu our community for a long time. Students at Waters have always gone on field trips to the river. At the beginning of third grade, we are given a journal. Our only assignment is to fill it, fill it with writings and drawings on, based on what we have seen. As a second grader, I experienced one of my first river projects. After a number of field trips to a river, my class created a collage that is still hanging in our school. When I was nine years old, I experienced the removal of the asphalt around the playground. 3,966.5 square feet of asphalt was removed. In its place, a wooden chip path was installed as well as a wooden fence to make sure the flowers and grass would not be harmed. That took place in the year 2000. That was the first on many times we would try and change the landscape of our school. All of these experiences have provided me with an understanding of environmental science that I would not have gotten in the classroom. I believe that Mr. Lucky, our ecology teacher, was the first teacher to get me involved with the river project and the idea of needing to help the river. This has made me want to help protect and keep 
the Chicago River Team. During our time at Waters, the river has given us a lot of opportunities. We would like the chance to give back. I'd like to continue with these ideas of improving our environment by removing the remaining asphalt. As an 8th grade class, we have started a campaign to make this dream happen. Our campaign has included writing a letter and presenting it to our local school council. Talking with Mr. Gene Schulter, our alderman, and meeting with members of the Chicago Public School Board. And creating a documentary about our gift. We need all the community support for our campaign to be a success. There would be a large impact on the injuries students suffer if the asphalt was removed. Each and every morning, the boys play football outside on the asphalt. In this game, injuries are involved. Boys and girls slip on the rocks, rip their jeans, and get injuries. Sometimes, this leads to infections and permanent scars. If we do remove the asphalt, the students at water school would be able to spend more time outside doing physical activities. Removing the asphalt means removing the possibility of getting hurt. If we remove the asphalt, we would be helping the environment. How? Well, if we remove the asphalt, we would be saving 850,000 gallons of water per year. Okay. The, we're going to be removing 37,000 square feet of asphalt, and there's 36 inches of rain per year. So for every square foot, we're wasting 7.41 gallons of water per square foot. So if we remove all of the asphalt, we're going to be saving 850,000 gallons of water. The water, instead of going into a river with raw sewage, it would be going into the ground and will help plants, trees, and flowers grow. When it rains, the water goes into the sewers and mixes with raw sewage. When the sewage treatment can't take any more sewage and water, it opens a gate and lets the rest of untreated sewage into a river. Into the Chicago River, to be precise. Finally, we would like to make our school beautiful and green. We would also like the school to have grass so that animals could come and live here. Then, during science class, we could go outside and actually learn about the animals in an interesting way. We would have many different types of flowers, trees, and other types of plants. Our school would be like a brand new forest, and it would be very beautiful with all the plants. It would also be very unique. It would also give inspiration to all our young artists. As you can see in our video, we have three main reasons why we want to have the asphalt removed. Why this school has received many beautiful changes during its life. We are a school with strong environmental connections and we would like our school to reflect that. Did you know there are many ways that you could help us with our asphalt removal project? Some ideas are the following. Volunteering. You may help us by volunteering support to our campaign. Over the next few months, there are many things that we will need to accomplish. Signing our petition. You may sign our petition to have the asphalt removed. We need to show that the community is behind our campaign. Contacting our local officials. You can contact the students and administration at Water School. You may also contact our alderman, Jean Shelton. Donate. Finally, you can donate to our cause. Some examples will be time, equipment, and money. Thank you very much, the students of Waters Elementary School.